Something is wrong. Foul. Curse it. Go, Sunin. Billy was right. The Kenta downfall is beautiful. Now, where is he? My secret haunt. I would be deaf to have not heard you singing. Your crow's cackle could awaken the dead. <laughs> These skirmishes with the Picts have worn you down. Not at all. The more scars, the better the boast. Oh, look at my father, a battle worn veteran carved up like a goat on a spit. Not a metaphor I would use just now. Not in this state. These waters are magnificent, no? They comfort and heal. They are Freya's gift to man. Billy, you need to face it. Your father is dying. When he departs for the Corpse Hall, you will take his place, as expected. The novelty of this soggy north has worn on me, Eivor. Too warm for winter living, too cold for summer. I've heard Mercia is more temperate. Dense forests, bright colors, thriving streams. Is that how it is in your settlement? You defy a long tradition, Billy. The son takes after his father. That is the way of things. Eivor. I have my own reasons to see you made Jarl. The Raven Clan wants friends in England, and you are among my very best. You do not need me in that seat to secure an alliance. You and Sigurd are beloved here. Your father is dying, Billy. Now is the time to get your house in order. It is not my house. It is the clan's house, and the clan will decide what happens next. You have a chance to end on good terms with your father. I wasn't afforded the same luxury. Don't squander it. 
Another attack? It's your father. He hasn't got long. Come to the longhouse. Henninger Jarl is at the edge of death. I must see him before he goes. Days long past it makes me feel young again. Hold on to that feeling and take it with you to the Hall of the Slain. You have become a great warrior, Eivor. A warrior and a leader worth, worth song and verse. I had many good teachers, Hemingway, y'all. You chief among them. I beg of you now. Do not let my lessons die. Pass them on. The seer is on her way, father. She has remedies for you. Cures and charms. I held you here, really. In one proud hand when you were fresh. From your mother's womb, I watched you grow. A dirty haired boy, swinging sticks and running through the mud, dreaming of glory. I. I am proud of what you have become. And I am proud, proud of what you will become, no matter how... We must prepare for the funeral. I'll send for my clan. You call on the nobles of this shire. Nobles have begun to arrive. Trukvi needs our help to see this through. We 
will be at the funeral pyre, overlooking the village. Lost. Sure. journey to the halls will be heralded by roaring flames. Eivor. Drengur. Suniva, thank you for coming. Ah, the sight of old friends lets my heart rest easy. We came as soon as we heard, bearing gifts for Hemingur Jarl. The celebration will last many days. How soon shall we begin? The pyre's construction is underway, and all of our guests are lodged and welcomed. We could begin shortly. Good. You handled this well, Chukvi. I pledged my life's oath to Hemingel Jarl. There is nothing I would not do for him. The all thing must be held when the week is out and the funeral is done. The nobles of this shire will name Vili the Jarl of our clan. This assumes they will be sober after a week of drinking and weeping. It will be a grand funeral. Father will have a clear view of his lands from here. The flames will burn bright and tall for all the Shire to see. You've done well, Trigve. This was his favorite spot in the Shire. I suppose we should get started. Our guests need looking after. I will look for you later. ...to save you from them once the mead has really soaked in. You are a true gift, Eivor. Thank you. Trigvi is Hemthoth's rock. With him around, the city can keep its peace. He is a good man. I must be away for a short time, Eivor. I want to retrieve something for my father. A gift. When did you have the time to make a funeral gift? <laughs> it was something I had hoped to give him in life. You must see it to believe it. I brought a gift from the Raven Clan. I stored it at the watchtower on the far side of Hemthorpe. Very kind, thank you. I should like to see it. I should look over the gift first. It must be worthy of Heming a Jarl. There's a heaviness to your look, Eivor. What troubles you? Heming had desired my counsel before he died. ...wanted my opinion on the future of this clan's leadership. That would be Vili, would it not? If tradition held, yes. Trikvi has tasked me to help the Volva with the sacrifices. Could we speak with her to ease your thoughts? It's a good idea. But let me go alone. Set scouts around the village. The people here must mourn in safety.
This is an excellent shield, Sofa. And here, from the Raven Clan. An impressive shield. It is good, but it needs a touch of grandeur. Something personal for your father. A sigil, I think. A mark to adorn the front. We need an artisan. Is there one in the village? I know a man. A master craftsman in exile. He lives in a cave northeast of Hemsop. I would take you there myself, but I have Isbjorn to retrieve. Isbjorn? Your father's spear? Did he not wield it at Ulkathorpe? She lost it some winters back on a bear hunt. He hit the beast hard, but the spear stuck and the bear fled into the forest. And after all these winters, you hope to find it again and present it to the pyre. The arts are narrow, to say the least. <laughs> Fret not, friend. I have a nose for these things. Seek out the exile. He'll see to your shield. This is an excellent shield, son. Gunnar's craft never disappoints. Sal must value his solitude, living in a hole such as this. Beard. You are a difficult man to find. Uh. Hemminger Jarl is dead. Mm. I was told you are a master craftsman. I seek an etching on the shield to celebrate the life and death of Hemminger Jarl. The stones. Hemminger Jarl possessed a steady hand and steady heart. Do you possess the same?
is not yet steady. How could it be at such a time? Emming Jarl's heart never wavered. In life it did not, but in death it lies as still as a stone. You have not yet answered me. Will you help me with my etching? How will you remember him? By his wisdom, always an inspiration. The web of Weirthen. Nine lines that write our fates. Past, present, and future entwined. Is this what you desire? Yes, I choose this one. I will begin. How did you come to be here? Fate. I was given a death sentence. Unfairly, I felt. But a man was killed. Heming Jarl desired for me to live. The villagers... did not. My sight... and exile. That was our compromise. Thank you for this. His son will take his place. That is for Vili to decide. Vili has no say. Fate has already decided. Heminger will be pleased with our gift. I wonder if Vili has found his spear. Our strong feelings for festive. Too festive. And too soon. Fires, fights, and every man soaked in meat. Ugh, this has gone too far. Hemthorpe could burn before the pyres lit. Gods, have I failed, my dear Jarl? Peace, Trukvi. I will do what I can to calm things. to kill him! I told him not to do it! No, he's not- Come out, you dung-eating rat! No, you hurt me! Oh my god! The people are quite upset. Leave me be! I did nothing wrong! You should walk out of here on your own. 
before you cannot walk at all. Yes, yes, I'll walk, I'll walk. Don't hurt me, please. There's a key there. If you open the door, I... I will follow you out. Oh, my God! You've got the key! Use it! Enough. Let him speak to explain himself. I loved Heminger. I swear. I only want him to fly free in the kingdom of God. So you drench his body with your filth waters? Was it your Christian holy water? Of course. I anointed him in the name of the Lord. Shut your mouths, both of you. Your antics have outlasted their welcome. Now go. Survey the area, Sunan. What is this boda you speak of? A gift without price, fit for a Jarl's lips. But hurry, it catches flame. Help! Fire! Save my voda, it burns! This is your Voda. I managed to save it from the licking flames. You dared Surtur's heat, yes. A most potent drink. Distilled from grain by the Rush of Kiev. Dip your horn and have a drink. A bit of drink in the belly, never heard. Watch yourself. The Voda sneaks up on you quick. Soon in, guide me. <gasps> what a perfect figure you have. Poised, powerful, perfect. Me? Mm, yes. I cannot help but wonder, is your flighting as striking as you? How do you mean? I draw smiles from the women and winks from the men. I'm a poetry lover who's scaled with his pen. If you fancy a round, then approach and come speak. If you're lustful for verse, then I've got what you seek. No, thank you. Come back if you change your mind. Let's see you, old friend. Stay back, foul beast! Thank you, mighty Thor. You've saved my life. Uh, when you sober up, steer clear of roosters. Some order seems to have been restored. Now to trick me, to let him know. <laughs> hmm?
I've calmed the guests as much as they can be in their grief. They mourn. It is to be expected. Still, thank you. And how do you feel, old friend? I mourn more deeply than most, I think. Heminger would be proud of what you have accomplished here. All you have done for him. I hope so. This ache will pass, Trukvi. With time. Yes. It will. I need your eyes, my friend. Just true. You are the wolf kissed one, the raven of battle whose fame grows with each waxing of the moon. I struggle with the choice Hemingha left for me. I would have your counsel on the matter. A slaughter must be made. Many sheep at the bottom of the sleeping Jutten, before the pyre is lit. Follow. You are to serve the gods and bid them welcome our beloved Hemingoriark with ale and open arms. the gift of foresight, Seer. Can you argue what is to come? I see what need be seen, when it need be. A great gift. A great burden. Did Heminger Jarl consult you often? Did he unburden his woes? We spoke often. Yet too often he laughed with more burdens than he brought. He worried about the future of his clan. About who would be Jarl. Speak less. Lest our words draw foul spirits to dog us. As you wish. <laughs> Volva, I... Your heart is restless. Your mind clouded. You seek more than a guarantee of good omens. I seek the gods' wisdom. You wish to know who would best serve this clan as Jarl? I do. Between Vili and Trukvi, there's no clear choice. We stand in the shadow of the giant, the great keeper of secrets. Here, you'll find a drink of the resounding sea. Ascend the sleeping Jotun, consume the waters, and meditate at its peak. Do not seek answers to your questions. They will find you.
this is the summit. To seek an answer, I should clear my mind and still my heart. flesh. Why have you not reached Odin's Hall? I've well in time. As the flames of my pyre burn, I will ride the path of wood smoke to the All Father's Hall of Champions. I am grateful to see you once more, Jarl. I struggle with the task you set before me. To choose your heir is not an easy thing. One man is beloved, but does not want the task. The other man is fit for the task, but is not favored. I could not give you any more counsel in life, A4. So too in death am I rendered silent. Forget wise counsel and rational arguments. What does your heart tell you? My heart is stopped. It says nothing. This should not be my decision, Heminger. The choice was always yours to make. You were their chief. As Sigurd is your chief. But that does not quench your appetite for glory, as you covet his place upon the high seat of your clan. I do not seek to replace Sigurd. Fate weaved our futures long ago. We are only following its pattern. Yet you see it coming. You welcome it. Shall I renounce my faith, then? Abandon the path to glory I walk? No. I want you to die in defense of it. Remember you. You left me too soon, Hemingway. Your, your shire's fate is uncertain. I trusted you to make the right decision. I still do. I never intended this. <laughs> have no regrets, Eifor. You have given me the great battle death I sought in life. You old fox. Was that the point of riling me up?
Did you consult the Volva? And were your questions answered? Some questions were answered. Others, I must answer myself. Do you think there's a place for Billy in our settlement? He expressed a desire to live and work with us. Will he not be Jarl of this Shire before the day's end? That remains to be seen. Some are more eager to see Trigvi in the high seat. Eivor, Trigvi has no intention to leave. He feels duty-bound to follow his master into death. Absolutely not. My father would never allow such foolishness. How else can I honor my Jarl, old as I am? This is no country for me. The future is yours, Vili. The frames of this pyre will burn for my father. You must live. I forbid you to follow him into death. I will not let you sacrifice yourself. Do you forbid me as a friend, Vili? Or as our new Jarl? As a man who would see you come to your senses. Vili. Trukvi. Each man wears one of Hemingus' boots, with both men unwilling to seize the other. Does the world need such useless, dithering men? Why not stake a claim yourself? Take this shire for your own. It is not my place. Your place is anywhere you lay your head, any hill you summit, any silver you take for your own. Do not limit yourself to niceties. Nottinghamshire deserves a leader to admire, a man the people can trust. Most love Billy, and he loves them, but he lacks the will to be leader. He could learn, but does he wish to? And Trickley, sturdy and wise and loyal to the legacy Hemminger Jarl left behind. Almost to a fault, but he is old, and his thrill for living has fled him. Hardly inspiring. You cannot! I will not allow it! I am not asking for your permission. Only your forgiveness. Gods, Eivor, put a stop to this fool's death wish. This is no small decision, Trukvi. And not without great cost. The Shire will be diminished without you. But I... I have nobody left. My life's purpose lies dead upon that pyre. That is not so. When people look to my father for guidance, who did they see him turn to for counsel? Heminger Jarl was my rock. Yes, I gave him counsel, but he made the hard choices. If Heminger were here, would he not urge you to wield this wisdom for the betterment of all? Was your vow to serve Heminger Jarl unto death, or to serve his legacy in life? I will stay. You have wisdom, Eivor. More than I could have guessed. Eivor! Mm -hmm. Suniva! Picts were spotted moments ago, lurking in the thicket. Ville gave chase! Ah, stick! He should have roused me first. Show me where he went. Let us wake the others. The dark is lousing with Picts. I can take them on myself. Tell me where. They're not far. I'll show you. <laughs> His rage has consumed him, Eivor. All this anger, this sadness, it has truly taken form. Our stick was never one to temper his emotions. This was bound to happen. I should have been more vigilant. Do not. 
not blame yourself, Drenkur. He always had me to watch his back, as children and again now. If this rampage is what he needs to rid himself of the sick that binds him, I will at least make sure he does not hurt himself. <laughs> Thank Odin he has the mighty wolf kissed as his shadow. There are things we do for family, Sunima. No questions asked. For you, I would have done the same. For any of the Raven clan. We know, Drenkur. That is why we are sworn to you. Here, Eivor. This was where Vili saw the scout killed and then charged after the enemy ahead. I will head back to Hemthorpe and make sure our ravens stand vigilant. This place is heavily guarded. Stop, Billy. They're gone. It is done. Ta! I've seen roosters fight with more spirit. Oddly enough, so have I. That sound. Is it thunder? Footsteps. We need to fall back. Follow me. Quickly! Thrilling, was it not? Just like when we were children getting into trouble and getting away. Save your honey words for when we get out of here alive, or stick. Save your honey words for when we get out of here alive, our stick. Ah, 
I saw its thunder hammer. That quickened the blood. Wild and reckless, like our first battles together. Remember the island north of Stavenga? I do. Kjertve the Cruel trained his berserkers there. Great lumbering fools, foaming at the mouth. We taunted them from the treetops. <laughs> and the drunk one, remember? Naked as the morning. Froze his cock off trying to find us. Then fell to humping a snowdrift. <laughs> <laughs> Were you glad to hear from me? I did wonder what trouble you'd been up to. But I smiled at hearing your name. And I wondered if you had taken after your father. If you were now leading your clan. Well, you have your answer. I'd sooner take after a troll and leave this clan in your hands. That I will not do. When my father was named Jarl, he had no one to help him, and still he triumphed. But I am not my father. I... I simply want to roam. Do you think Slipnir would be content bound to a stable? No matter how glorious it may be. Hey! What is that for? You have friends, Vili. And what about Trukvi? And me? And your clan? Of course. I know that. You can't roam forever. Keep that in mind. You are surrounded by those who love you. And that will not change. Unless you push it all away. You... You speak a truth, I understand. Troll-faced arsenic. <laughs> a chicken draugr. Is such a thing possible? For that does not seem possible. Voda, too. A warder infused with fire. I do not lie. <laughs> Your father's death aside, Willy. This has been... good. Fun. Do you ever wonder what might have happened if we had not been separated by the North Sea so early in our lives? What adventures we would have had. The raids, the battles, the glory. I even think about what we might have been to each other. I have, fondly. And often enough that it sometimes seemed you never left. Maybe you never did. I... I want you, Eivor. Your warmth. Your touch. Billy, no. That will not happen, I'm sorry. Get some rest, huh? going uh, with so much on my mind I haven't slept a wink the funeral the fanes I should get back I understand I'll see you there Eivor, 
My father sets forth on his final voyage. May the winds favor him. The nobles have offered up their funeral gifts. All but you. Present what you have, and the celebration may begin. I have it here. A shield bearing the sign of the Web of Weird. Woven into this shield as you wove your spirit into our lives. May the Skulls sing of you as the gods embrace you. Feast, my friend, in the halls of the free and brave. Stand at my side. Speak from your heart, Eminasan. Today we mourn the passing of Heminger Jarl of Nottinghamshire. My father. Our father. He was a towering force. A strength to fear and admire. Now gone. Yet together we are the example of his greatness. I see him in each of you. His love for battle, but also peace. For wisdom, sorrow, and joy. His generosity, his spirit. In you I see his life and his love of drink. God, did he love drink. <laughs> we are these things because he was these things. Father, we shall be to our children what you were to us. And when they are ready, we will meet you again. Give him a fine farewell. Sunila, ride to Hemthorpe and prepare the longhouse for the old thing. The next Jarl will soon take his seat. Become the next yarl. Does it pass from father to son? Have they given their yarl a fine farewell? They have. 
None drink so well and so deeply as Clan Hemingerson. The declaration of succession must happen soon, before we are too drunk and exhausted to remember our names. I agree. Call on those who must attend. The old thing will begin shortly. Yeah, man. Rest in peace. Hey, for you look uneasy, burdened by grief, drowning in need, and paralyzed by a sword. I stand between that man and Yardum. You stand side by side, really, and one of you must step forward. My father placed us side by side, because he trusted your vision. So what do you see? Drunk as you are, I see before me a man full of passion, vigor, and a love for his people. I see a Jarl. Your burden will get easier to bear. Take your father's seat and make it your own. I will. Good. Now let them know, Arstic. People of Hemthorpe, of Ulkethorpe, of Snottingham, today I pledge myself. As my father was, I shall be your Jarl. Heminger was a hero, not for who he was, but for the people he led. With Trigvi by my side, with all of you, we will have glory. You have already learned that people prefer shorter speeches to long ones. Billy it will take time to wear that title with comfort. My father never swore a formal oath with your clan. There was no need, for you are family. Let it be known the Hemingers and Clan Raven are true sworn friends from this day forward. You accept? Aye. Well? Be fair, be just, and call upon us often. Our stick. I'm sure I will. And we want to know about this. It is time I return to the settlement.
pleasure to see you. I bring fair tidings, Renry. Heminger Jarl in Snoddinghamshire has passed, but his clan remains allied to us. Sad news, but you made the best of it. I saw my old friend Vili on my visit. He is their Jarl now, and he has pledged to aid us in times of need. Should we take this to your chamber? Hmm. No need. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me more about Kent. Basim has written, claiming to have found the woman Fulke and asking for your aid. He has taken shelter at St. Hadrian's Priory. Any news of Sigurd? Nothing he mentioned. But if he has found a paladin Fulke, Sigurd cannot be far behind. Python received a message from Winchester. From someone calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Your hidden ally. Very interesting. More targets, I assume. Yes. So what do you think? Could it be a trap? As a West Saxon stronghold, Winchester will be a rather unwelcome place for you. But that is nothing you cannot handle. If you go, do not go boldly. I will make my way to Winchester. The letter asked me to meet a man in white at a house of God, and then recite this phrase. When pride cometh, then cometh shame, but with the lowly cometh wisdom. A passage from their holy book, I believe. Interesting. Go with care. <laughs> 